the night that I went to on Saturday, right? On Saturday, I ended up going to a place called Paloma. It is a Paloma bar, which is in Copa Sator. It's the main sort of station, I guess, that people go to when they want to go to Burger because it's sort of like in the center of all the kind of hip kind of places. Maybe in their example, it could be their Shoreditch or maybe their Brick Lane. I'm not sure how you describe it. But next to there is where the Burger Meister is a really kind of well-known you know burger place that they have there in berlin really nice maybe some people say overrated but i still think it's consistently one of the best burgers that you can get over there fairly well priced all is well done depending on the uh, independent of the location and right next to it around the corner sort of there's this great club called paloma bar which i've never actually been to prior to prior experiences because i just never got around to go in there but this time i thought you know what because there was this night called powerhouse um which is um started up by finn johansson who's got this blog that i've been reading for you know many 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 years a blog that I kind of kind of follow definitely check it out he had a night where you had soundstream dj pete with him playing and obviously i wanted to go check that out so i went on a saturday and this basically made up the majority of my club no no that this basically set the tone i think for the clubbing experience over the weekend i stayed until 10 in the morning ended up going to some random irish dude's um, house party of uh, afters uh, in the after effect which kind of turned into a bit of a dud because you know it's interesting that after hours can turn into a dud when the host that you're going to go see is very controlling of the music that's just one thing that just sets off in a bad mood you know sometimes you go to after hours and some guys like yeah just just jump on my spotify or use my youtube or everyone just opens a new tab and writes a song they want to play he was just not wanting anyone to play what they wanted he just kind of kept controlling the, the flipping the flipping tunages and that kind of set off in a bad light and then after the fact everyone kind of just got off the point and just wanted to move on so whatever the night itself, the bar itself, Paloma Bar was number, I would say, up there with Roses, which is obviously in Berlin too, and maybe 8mm Bar, they're definitely two of the places that if I had my own club owned bar, that's what I would want them to look like, like 100% in terms of the capacity, in terms of the design, the layout, perfect place, I think the actual clubbing bar landscape thing probably is about 100 people deep, if that, and then the, the other bar downstairs is probably 100 people deep as well so it's like 200 maybe in the entire venue but they have a banging sound system um the dj booth is like right next to you so you can see everyone playing what they're doing and shit it's just a really 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 nice space i can't really say anything bad about it at all the only other thing issue is that they didn't accept nhs covid passes there so they did make a bit of a stink about it but they didn't let me in after the fact but it did let me know hey you have to go to the pharmacy and get uh, basically an eu pass i think the system is when you go to a pharmacy they have a system and again it's free but you have to kind of make sure you're polite about it because it's not something that you know it's just it's entitled over to you but if if they've got the time and they're free they can basically convert your nhs pass into a eu covid pass so you basically get to use that to know to kind of go into venues especially club spaces because usually most of them um, want you to have a covid pass when you go in so that's a new entry requirement you need but after that they kind of let me in not too much bother then i think it was 10 euros or something to get in i think so around that mark maybe three euros or two euros for the cl uh, cloakroom which is always a good thing coming from london again i'm not sure about you guys but coming from london usually we avoid putting our cloaks coats in the cloakroom either by keeping it on us or by not bringing the coat in the first place because the winters in berlin are really really harsh i wouldn't advise not bringing a coat and i would advise if you're gonna go especially with the amount of alcohol and maybe drugs you might consume definitely try and make sure you put your coat in a cloakroom before you do anything else just do that first i really recommend it because you might think there's loads of little nooks and crannies you can put your stuff in and usually people are okay with it there's not security guards on the dance floor flicking the lights on and off and making you feel uncomfortable so you can do what you want basically on the dance floor but you do sometimes lose um which I know I did you lose your um, understanding of space and time so it's really nice when at the end of the time when you're kind of panicking thinking with my jacket and you're like oh yeah I put it in the cloakroom and all your stuff is in there it does fill your heart with absolute joy so definitely make sure you do that regardless of the price and usually the price ain't that much it's usually never more than three euros um, and it's always kind of really well organized if they, have, if they don't have too much space they won't, they won't let you put your coat in there so it's just really well done that aside the night itself was fucking fantastic um i unfortunately arrived just after um soundstream had played he literally walked past me in the queue um you know got to say hi to him briefly as he left um but then i then go, got to see djp and and flip finn johansson go back to back and it was great man like I, I don't know maybe it's just because of the fact that it was a more of a house night house and disco type of vibe that i got to hear 
different type of music being played in Berlin, like on a kind of nighttime basis, like in a in a nightclub for sure. Because you do hear different types of music being played when you go to like a bar. Um, someone's putting a playlist on. You might hear some rock. You might hear some inter alternative, bit indie, a bit of EBM, cool. But for the most part, you only hear techno. So when you go to a nightclub that happens to play stuff that isn't techno, more on the housey side of things, more on the disco side of things, indie dance side of things, it is really really good. Um, the bar is great. Um, every bartenders are super attentive and, and full full and shit um the layout's quite interesting you go to you go the main floor you kind of walk into so again this is the the gate things that you kind of walk have to walk into it's around the corner from Bergermeister. you walk up the stairs you walk up another set of stairs you queue up for a bit you go in pay at a little kiosk you walk up some stairs again to go to like the one floor that's got the windows on it that one that's like the loungy sort of area but then where the actual club night is is the top floor so you so there's two four separate which is great so if you don't really care about who's playing upstairs you just want to chill and have a little view of copper to toy and have a bit of a smoke and whatnot you go in that kind of first floor and then the second floor is where everything's sort of popping off on and the layout is really cool as well that he just sort of sits towards the one end where next to kind of the bar area is and all the dancers and revelers are on the other end and yeah man fully fully enjoyed it Bumped in, happened to bump into a lot of UK guys in there, but, um, which obviously was no surprise considering the genre of music and considering who was playing. It would be natural that a few UK guys were there. I saw a couple of dudes with some soundstream vinyls in there, wanting to get signed. So I hope, I think they did because you know, obviously I'd left before I got there. But again, definitely a standout. Um, un- I'll say recently discovered gym not un, no, recently discovered gem in my book because i wasn't really familiar with paloma bar before um i obviously went in um that time because I've, I've i've kind of heard of it beforehand never really had a chance to go there because again i spent most of my time at these other sort of um venues that you everyone kind of knows and love but if you want to go somewhere a little bit different and kind of mix up your experience i definitely recommend you check it out it's definitely um a an interesting experience especially for a place that you kind of only know for playing kind of one type of music it's good to go somewhere where it's a bit different it's got a bit more of a change and a bit more of a housier vibe i really fucking enjoyed it i'm not going to lie man really bloody 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 enjoyed it um definitely recommend you check out um paloma bar out there in copper so to, well next to copper so, so station they're saying here it's in kreuzberg i'm not sure if they would you count that as kreuzberg i guess you probably would i'm not too sure how you classify the areas but you know what i mean definitely recommend you check it out if you haven't before um again powerhouse is definitely a decent lineup because again Finn Johansson's got a lot of kind of clout in that industry um he ends up booking some really great people I think they said it's gonna be the last one for a while um if I'm not mistaken he does record them all and put them on his SoundCloud so definitely check that out if you haven't before um yeah definitely a good party to go to overall definitely enjoyed it definitely definitely enjoyed it